I welcome you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and that glorious and awesome time in the our Redeemer, our strength, our maker, and our life. My prayer to God Almighty is for God to open the eyes of our understanding, to teach us by Himself, and to deliver us from every devices and manipulations of darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless, we worship, and we exalt your name because we are the loving God. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are grateful for the gift of life. We are grateful for your grace, for your love. We are grateful, O Lord, for the covenant of life. We are grateful, O God, for fighting our battles. We are grateful, O Lord God, for giving us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross of Calvary. Lord, take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Merciful God, we know we have sinned against thee. That we pray for mercy. Have mercy, O Lord. Wash away all our sins and create in us the spirit to sin no more. Lay your mighty hand upon us and deliver us, Lord, from all evil. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, O Lord, deliver us from the power of flesh tonight oh lord deliver us from every spirit of ignorance tonight oh lord deliver us from every plans and the agendas of the wasters in the name of jesus lord my life i surrender before thee whatever is in me that will make me love to speak heresy lord forgive me have mercy wash me clean create me a new heart and lay your mighty power upon me use me oh lord all the days of my life as your vessel as your hurricane as your mouthpiece to propagate your gospel let your gospel go forth right now and bring forth deliverance healing revival restoration and salvation to the world in the name of jesus we cover this platform we covered every lives i've been listening to this broadcast we cover them with the blood of jesus and with the fire of the Holy ghost i want you to lift up your voice and pray to god say oh lord my father oh lord my father open my eyes to see beyond the ordinary. Oh Lord, my Father, open my eyes to see beyond the ordinary. Open our eyes to see beyond the ordinary. In Jesus' name, you are praying. Say, agenda of the wasters over my life and my family. Be terminated in the name of Jesus. Agenda of the wasters over my life and my family. Be terminated. Be terminated. Agenda of the wasters over your life. Be terminated now. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, oh Lord, my Father, Order my steps all the days of my life. Oh Lord God, my Father, order my steps, order the steps of my children, of my wife, of every soldier tonight. Order our steps. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, wicked altars erected to confuse me, be destroyed. Wicked altars erected to confuse me, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Wicked altars erected to confuse us. Wicked altars erected to derail us, be destroyed now. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I welcome you once again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ around that time in his presence. Tonight and to the glory of God, this is day two of our three day special teachings on outside the house. And day two, the Lord has given us the grace to look into what is tied to things that can take a man away from the house. Things that can take a man away from the house. Man, by his natural instinct, will not leave his comfort zone. But when certain external forces are in place, man will do unbelievable things that will certainly forsake the truth and embrace light. When a higher force or forces are in operation against a man, man will do unbelievable things that will make man to forsake truth and embrace light. Man can go out of his way to live a peaceful place and embrace hardship. Man can forsake light and embrace darkness. But man, in his normal sense, will never leave his comfort zone. Man loves to be in a place of peace. But when a higher power overtakes a man, the man will start embracing heresy and forsaking light i pray in the name of jesus may we not be deceived by the devil in the name of jesus devil is a deceiver devil is out there to destroy devil is out there to take a man away from god's presence devil is out there to take a man away from the path of righteousness and put a man in the way of destruction the bible says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death i pray in the name of jesus may you and i may we not leave the path of light and enter into the path of death in the name of jesus every plan of the enemies to entice us away from god's presence such plans shall be terminated in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in genesis chapter one 
Genesis chapter 1, I read from verse 1 to the end. We are looking tonight at things that can take a man away from the house, meaning things that can take a man away from God's presence. Ordinarily, a man will love to be in God's presence. But when something that is bigger and higher than the strength of a man overtakes a man, that's when you start seeing a man embracing things that are unbelievable. Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 3. From verse 1 to the end. Bible says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the food thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves apron. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord, logo among the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree? Hast thou eaten of the tree? Hmm. Wherefore I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat. And the man said, The woman whom thou givest to, me, to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art caused above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And he shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his nail. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow, and in thy conception, in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and has eaten of the tree, of which I have commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cause is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. In the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dost thou at, and unto doors thou shalt return. And Adam called his wife, wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coat of skin and clothing. And the Lord God said, and the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent forth from the garden of Eden to the, to the ground from whence it was taken. So he drove the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword, which turned every way, to keep the way of the tree of life. Praise the Lord. In today's world, the followings has been identified
Christ as the root cause of why men are leaving the presence of God. Why men are always forsaking life and embracing darkness. Why men are always forsaking the truth and embracing lies. Number one is deceit. Devil is a deceiver. God was with Adam and Eve. God was having fellowship with them. God gave them the best of the best. Where when the deceiver set him, he turned their heart against their maker. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every plans of the enemies to turn our heart against God shall fail in the name of Jesus. Number two is greed that can make a man to forsake God. Number three is spiritual and physical ignorance. Number four is evil advice and companion. Number six is lust of the eyes and the flesh. Next is indecision. Next is fear of tomorrow. Next is wrong teachings and wrong doctrines. Another thing that can take a man from the house is lack of wisdom in the things of God. Another thing is evil and selfish ambition. Another thing is achievement, demonic ego, achievement like educational advancement, money, fame, jobs, material acquisitions, evil connections. Another thing is pride. Another thing that can take a man away from God's presence is evil friendship and family pressures. Another thing is fighting in the church. Another is inability to discern. Another is when ma what man we eat, drink, or put on. Another is demonic and unhealthy competition. Another is envy of other people's achievements. Another thing that can take a man away from the house is reliance on own strength. Another is the move when a man is being moved by sight and not by faith. Another is poor understanding of the things of the Spirit. Another is division in the body of Christ. Another is false prophet and their agent plus their teachings. Another is fake prophecies and miracles. And another is the power of darkness. The devil saw the relationship between God and man and devil stepped in. And unknown to Adam and Eve, they yielded to demonic devices. They yielded to the advice of the devil. They yielded to the suggestion of the devil. They yielded to the discussion. They bought into that evil arena of discussing with the devil. Beloved, whenever you engage with the devil to discuss, be rest assured that the devil is a manipulator. The devil will change your heart. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord God, my father, Put the devil to shame in my life. Oh, Lord God, my Father, put the devil to shame in my life, in my home, on this platform, in every life. So tonight, oh, Lord, put the devil to shame. Put the devil to shame. In Jesus' name, we are praising by the power in the name of Jesus. Lord, do not let the devil to overpower me. By the power in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray thee, do not let the devil to overpower us. Do not let Satan to overpower us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, every plans of the devil to take me away from God's presence, Fearfully, in the name of Jesus, plans of the devil to take me away from God's presence. Fearfully, fearfully, plans of the devil to take away our children, to take away our husbands, our wives, to take away every soul here away from God's presence. We command those plans to fearfully, fearfully, in Jesus' name. We are praying, mighty and everlasting God. We thank you, glorious God, beautiful King, excellent Father. We bless you. We worship because you are the loving God, Father Lord. Tonight we pray that whatever the devil is planning whatever the devil has fired at us to take us away from your presence let all things fail by fire and be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus lord keep us safe in your presence plant us oh god in your vineyard and do not let the hands of the devil to pluck us out from thy presence in the name of jesus deliver us all from the power of flesh and help us to always abide with you and you abiding in us all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing to share the good news, tell the whole world that there are certain things that the devil is using to take men away from God's presence. And I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you and I, may we not yield to the devices and the tricks of the devil in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow is day three. Let's come together to share the scripture on outside of the house. And I pray 
may we be in the presence of God all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. We meet every day 5 p.m. Irish time to live five on Facebook and YouTube. Tomorrow is Friday, is our healing and deliverance hour. In addition to this teaching, let's come together with a bottle of water from 11 45 p.m. to 12 15 a.m. And as we come before God, may God Almighty come down the fullness of His grace, power, and love and over answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. May He give us victory over every battle of life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, beloved Jesus is coming soon, He's coming back for the saints. You and I must endeavor to live a righteous, a holy, and a life of faith and obedience to God and to His word. And my prayer to God is on the last day. May you and I, our children, our husbands, our wives, and our family members, and our unborn generations, may we be with Christ in paradise. And may Jesus Christ, in the fullness of his grace, love, mercy, and power, write our names in the book of life. It is well with you. Go and prosper. It is well with your home. Go and conquer. It is well with your children. I decree upon every of our children that they shall prosper in the land of the living. They shall not wear rags. They shall not beg for bread. They shall not eat the bread of sorrow. Neither shall they drink the water of affliction. Any power planning to destroy the beauty of God in the lives of our children, such power shall be wasted before them in the name of Jesus. Any one born of a woman planning to derail the smooth journey of for our children, such power shall collide with the rock of ages and they shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. Your homes shall be sweeter than honey, your job shall be blessed. You are blessed in the morning, you are blessed in the noon, you are blessed at night. No more sorrow, no more pains, no more disgrace, no more shame. The Lord will restore you back to your own divine original. In Jesus' name, it is done. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven blessed and glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all and keep shining the Lord. Bye.